BYD system update. Uh, according to BYD, all their new vehicles 2021 up to now receives regular updates of the software, you know, software updates. So today I want to show us how an update comes in. So you can see from this screen that when you come in, this is how you assess it. Now, if you go to, this is a BYD tank, 2024 model. Uh, so if you want to assess your update and how we will know the update come, this is how you assess it. If you click on this, you go to the settings view. Then from here, you can see a lot of settings, linkage, sound, cloud. But if you go to the version of the software and there is a link, an update, you see a red dot on top of the D link and a red dot on the update. So if you click on the update, then you see upgrade now, postponed, cancel. During the upgrade, the vehicle cannot move and all vehicle functions will be temporary and disabled. So if you want to upgrade, you just click on the upgrade and then you are good to go. So you can see that all functions has been turned off and this will take 28 seconds to upgrade. So BYD upgrades come in regularly, sometimes every month, sometimes you can receive more than two. Depending on what section of the car they want to upgrade, they send you these upgrades based on that. So the algorithms are run on all their softwares and whatever they need to you know, send updates, updates come to individuals on their PAD. This is called a PAD, the vehicle PAD. So upgrade has been done and then the multimedia system has been restarted or rebooted. So it's saying preparing for upgrade. You can see whilst you have doing upgrade, even the instrument cluster goes dark. The instrument cluster goes dark. You see, then the system has been upgraded. It is six months, six months, six more minutes to configure the updates into the system. So upgrade is in progress. So whilst we wait for the upgrade, we're talking about the BYD tank. This is a 2024 model, very beautiful. And I was doing a diagnostics with the VDS 2024 design by BYD. The VDS 210 is a BYD diagnostic tool. I've been doing a lot of videos recently on them. So this is the interior of the tank. You can see This is the interior of the tank. Comes with a gear lever that is like this with the unlock and packing on top of it. Push button, start. Driving modes. So this is how you run everything right here. This is the instrument cluster and a few more functions as well. And then the tank symbol will always be here. The roof and the sunroof system. And you can open just by toggling over here. See, see, has a tower of system. See, see, so the sound roof update is ongoing. So, what else are we? Let's see what is happening. 
So you see the sunroof system of the BYD? Can open this first. Then this follows. See? So I can choose to close both of them at once or individually. You see? So the tank is an amazing. Tang has amazing features that makes it one of the best BYD designs so far. Other people say it's, the song is the best, other people say the seal, others say the hat. But for me, the Tang is one of the amazing designs so far. With me, I'll be doing a review of the car soon. Tang, Song, Yuan, Yuan App, Seagull, all of them. Very soon. I'll be doing updates, um, reviews on all of them. Maintenance sequences, procedures of maintenance, how to run a few maintenance procedures, how to perform diagnostics on some features of an electric vehicle. Electric vehicle diagnostics is not like any other, just because it's diagnostics does not mean it's the same. Certain parameters do not appear on engine cars and diagnostics.